I recently received a message from a friend of mine asking if I could get rid of a computer for him because it was in his barn and he did not want it. So, of course, with any free computer, I went and picked it up right away, brought it home, and this is what it is. It's an AST Adventure, exclamation point, 200. Um, it's an old AMD K5 system from, I think, around 1994 or 93, something like that. And it's in pretty decent shape. It came with the monitor, keyboard, mouse, uh, cables, and of course the system unit itself. Unfortunately, the monitor does not work. As you can see here, it did have a signal originally, or it did power on originally. It flashed yellow and green waiting for a signal. But unfortunately, after some testing and experimenting, it just wouldn't display anything. Um, it sensed that there was a signal going to it, but it wouldn't show anything. So unfortunately, the monitor has now been recycled, but I still have the computer and the keyboard and mouse to play with. So here's a quick look at the keyboard and mouse. The mouse is pretty yellowed. It's not too bad. And the keyboard is rather disgusting, to be totally honest. It's got a really gross looking piece of plastic over the top as a protector which I promptly threw out and keyboard itself pretty yellow pretty pretty yellow the back of this system is pretty interesting actually there is uh, what I would call I don't know if it's actually called this a dual-sided riser card where you have slots on either side of the riser card instead of just three or four slots on one side and it does have onboard ports such as video, parallel, serial, and uh, PS2, which is pretty common for the time. I went ahead and plugged the monitor in. Um, as you can see, it had a signal, but wouldn't really do anything. And I plugged the computer in as well. Unfortunately, it did not boot because the power supply is bad. I can hear a very high-pitched squealing noise, which I wasn't really able to capture on camera. And that was all I got out of it. So. I went ahead and brought it home and powered it on, and the rest of what you're going to see is me taking a look at the system in person without a voiceover. It'll be filmed in real time after I've had some time to take a look at it and play with it. So without further ado, let's go on to the next part of the video. So now is the part where I go ahead and take a look at the machine in real time instead of doing a voiceover. And as we probably saw and I probably said, I haven't actually filmed that voiceover yet in the previous parts, is that the power supply is dead. So I hooked up another power supply, it's an AT power supply, and I've hooked up all the drives and everything, so now I think we are good to plug it in and see what happens. I don't know if anything's going to happen because I haven't actually plugged it in yet, but we'll see where it goes. So let's make sure that's on, that's off, alright. Let's go ahead and give it some power. All right, it has power. Get that thing out of there in one, two, three, go. All right. It came to life. That's pretty cool. That was more than I was expecting. That hard drive is quite loud. I can't tell if it just wants me to go... Okay, it is still doing something. Floppy disk fail, that's because I didn't plug it in apparently. Listen to that hard drive go. It's quite a noisy one. Oh, it's asking me to hit F1, so let's hit F1. And see if it'll boot. Starting Windows 95. Wow. So the only thing that I have done with this so far, as you probably can tell, is just try a different power supply. And it actually works. And that's the only thing I've done. I, As you kind of saw, I pulled it right out of a, uh, a barn, took it home, cleaned it up a little bit, and here it is. Now, I have no idea what the specs of this machine is yet, but I'm going to place a little bit of a, a bet on myself here. I think this is a 386 motherboard 
with a, obviously a 386 processor. Um, probably 32 megs of RAM and a, a 4 gig hard drive. Let's see if that is at all close. Oh, and I also plugged in the sound here. I don't know if it'll actually work. I also didn't plug in a mouse, so that'll make it interesting. Well, I don't want you to detect all the hardware. God damn it. Ah. Right, keyboard's over here now. That's nice. That was loud as hell. Uh, no, I do not want to restart. Screw that. I like how it asks me to if I want to restart, and then it finds more hardware, which it'll then have to restart for. I don't know why it's detecting all this stuff all over again. I'm... Ah! Loud. Um, because I'm, I don't think anything was done with it after it kind of sat for a while. So, what do we have on here? We have Minitab, which is statistical software. Got shortcuts to two printers. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but that is hella loud. That is so loud. Alright, looks like we're up and running, and it's actually, so far, somewhat responsive. You don't know Jack. I know that's a, like a documentary, but I, that seems really familiar to me. So there's Reader Rabbit Preschool Software, Sierra, a bunch of games on here, some golf and fishing games, Quicken, I won't really be showing you any of that, Norton Antivirus, let's see what version of Norton is on here. It says Norton Antivirus for Windows 95. Uh, info desk? Oh, no, about. That would probably be what it is. Is that a... Cool. Uh, what else do we have on here? Corel. Elmo's Preschool, I'm pretty sure that I played that game when I was a kid. Oh, it doesn't exist anymore. Crap. I'm gonna, I might actually try to get that working, because that, I played that a lot when I was like three or four years old. Nice. Alright, now let's go on to the specs of this machine, because I know that's what some of you have been waiting for. Let's go to the, to the desktop and then hit my computer. How do I do this? There. So the hard drive is a one gigabyte hard drive. And if we go to properties, 40 megs of RAM, so it's a little more than I guessed. And it's got an AMD processor. Well, I was not expecting that. I thought it would have been some kind of Intel. So maybe it's a K5 or K6. I don't know. Let's take a look. Doo -doo. Is it now safe to shut off my computer? Yes, it is. All right. So oh, I always hate getting these things off. I'm gonna put the camera down for this one. Of course, I don't have any proper tools with me right now, so that makes it a little difficult. There. Alright, so I was right. It is an AMD K5. Uh, K5 PR133, so I'm assuming that's a 133 MHz K5. I don't know much about these older processors, but I know that that one's cool because it's shiny and gold. And that is a socket 7, um, 40 megs of RAM, which you can see right there. So those are 
That's SD RAM, 40 megs of SD RAM. What is this little riser card right here? That is a, a tiny little sound card, which seems to have a ribbon cable going off of it that goes right to the motherboard, so that probably came with the machine. And then in here we have a modem, which also probably came with the machine, and that's cool. So there's the barn find computer, and surprisingly it works and it's clean, and I am I'm just blown away that it actually works after I replace the, uh, sorry, I'm very distracted after I replace the power supply, but I'm looking at how very yellow this thing is. Holy crap. So underneath, well, let's get, let's refocus the camera for a second. So underneath the outer shell, you can see where that was. That is just as white as can be. It's the original color. And then <laughs> the whole thing is yellow. It looks like it was painted yellow. And the same thing for this. There's a, a little lip down here that you can see that's still white. That is just amazing. It doesn't even look that yellow over here. But I guess the uh, floppy drive and CD drive yellowed a little bit differently. Wow. That's something. That is definitely something. I might try to retrobart this. But not right now. That is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, please let me know in the comments or leave a thumbs up. Whatever you'd like to do. And uh, there will probably be more videos of this in the future. Maybe refurbishing it. Uh, I don't know. We'll see where that goes. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video.